before I play live. Um, and we're just about to go up and I'm just trying to tell myself that it's okay. You know, I just need to chill on stage and, you know, not get in my own head, but just like be open and chill, just chill. And uh, I know the more I do it, the more I will be able to enjoy it. But I shouldn't think about that. I should just relax. So, hopefully it all goes well. You know, I need to, I need to remember that it's okay. It's not a big deal. People are here to have fun. And I should just chill. <laughs> for a show. Of the expo 
show. It went well, I think. I did, I did a fuck up a few times, but overall, I think I there were moments where I did really good, and I wasn't stressed out, and I was like connecting with the audience. So I think uh, I think I did pretty good, and uh, the people were so awesome. All the drummers that played were awesome and it was a really cool experience and um, and now starts the birthday celebration So I realized that I didn't give you guys a tour of the room um, because I was so tired when I got here and then the room was a complete mess so I didn't do that later. But now I'm actually leaving today so I wanted to just give you a quick tour before I leave. So here you go. This is Hotel Capri in, in Singapore. Okay. So this is the room. These are my suitcases because I'm actually leaving. I'm giving you the grand tour of this place. I really like these plates and the bowls. This is the bed and the outside. My view is not uh, too spectacular, but uh, that's what we have. Um, now I'll show you the bathroom. Oh, there's a microwave. I didn't, didn't even see that. Well, what do they have here? Nothing. Alrighty then. Uh, this is the bathroom. This is me. I, I really liked that they had like shampoo, conditioner and soap that's not in individual small bottles because it's um, very... Um, how do you call it? Environmentally conscious. I like that. I give them an A for that. Uh, what else? There is an iron here. I really like the robe and the shoes. I don't know what the bucket is for, but I did use the iron. You see? Um, because I don't, I don't own, I don't own an iron personally. I used to have an iron and a board, and somehow it got lost in the mess that's around my fridge. Never mind. Alrighty, so now I'm actually gonna go to uh, get coffee. So I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. So I'm here with Boone and Anel and Lior. Uh, we're just leaving the hotel and Boone has given us a ride. And I thought maybe we can talk a little bit about the drum fest. Yeah. Uh, so how was it arranging this? I know this is like not your first time doing this, but how, how was it? Because I can't imagine like putting together something like this with so many international musicians and all and the competitions and the prizes and location and hotels for everyone. <laughs> how, how was that, that whole experience? Uh, I mean, it's obviously it's crazy from my point of view uh -huh. but 
but we set out to do it anyway so it's like you know you you can't you can't you, you cannot want to have a baby and don't take care of the baby <laughs> so, yeah so it comes with all the nonsense all the crazy things so yeah we are never prepared for it so. <laughs> How many of these did you already do? I've done four of these, uh -huh. so four big festivals. So I think over over the past ten years, I have brought in almost more than sixty artists on my roster. Yep, that is amazing. So, yeah. what do you think was was it successful? Yeah, I mean, you know, our goal as what I've mentioned to you two, two days back it's really to elevate drumming so we got to think of the most ingenious ways and innovative ways to do it yeah you know I get really quite nervous still when I play live so this was <laughs> <laughs> this was really good for me and um, I think uh, I, I hope that people enjoyed it and that I watched a performance I think it was great because um, you guys basically do your things on internet yeah right? uh -huh. so and on, on, online through your social media channels you know it, it is a controlled environment yes and i thought that you you were when you were live i didn't feel that difference really yeah from I, the I, videos yeah i didn't i didn't feel that difference when i'm watching you live so and that's great <laughs> well I, I did I, I fucked up it like two songs <laughs> but, <laughs> but i think i pulled maybe it together maybe i wasn't there Probably, Maybe. Yeah. But but seriously, I mean, Meitao, you have proved the point, you know, you're not just you're not just a girl drummer. You know? Yeah, so you are the beauty queen, you know, and then you play drums well. So, you know, that's what I want people to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So not just on the looks department, not just on the internet, social media department, you know. So and you can play. Thank you, know? you. Well, yeah. thank you. So I guess that means that yeah. uh, I'll be back next year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe give it a break, because you know I've always wanted to ask you this. If you yeah. know, are you are you in any way related to Martin Cohen of Latin percussion? No, there are so many Cohens you yeah. won't even believe it. <laughs> well, okay, so we'll wrap it up. Thank you again, Boone. It was Thanks. awesome. See ya. enjoyed coming along this trip with me. Uh, love you guys. to Thailand also and you know kept traveling <laughs>